What's good YouTube? Brett6781 here. Just wanted to show you something cool I made in Minecraft. Uh, I'm using the Tech It Pack right now. I seriously suggest you guys get this. It's awesome. It incorporates, well, at least right now, it incorporates 51 different mods. It's still Minecraft 125 though. Uh, it should be updated pretty soon here. Regardless, it's definitely worth a download if you like to play with a bunch of mods anyways. Definitely check it out. Alright, so in my single player world, I wanted to show you guys a reactor system that will automatically cool the reactor using ice flow constantly being pushed into the reactor and has an automatic backup system that automatically purges the reactor of all uranium rods so that if you get over a certain temperature, the reactor dissipates the heat and pulls the rods right out, keeping it from exploding. So let's go into my world here. I dubiously named Chernobyl let it load okay so we're loaded up now uh, as you can see I built an entire enclosure around it uh, more or less not because it might explode but because it just looks like a nuclear power station now these are the three uh, main controls that you have the first one is the ice control this is an ice uh, based reactor con cooling system it isn't water based which means uh, you don't have buckets circulating through, instead you have blocks of ice. I believe ice is craftable when you're using Tekkit. Uh, I'm too lazy right now to actually look up the crafting sequence, so just go ahead and look it up in the wiki, or I'll put a link to, the, to it in the description. Anyway, um, these are your main controls right here. You have your emergency reactor broad purge, which means it pulls all the uranium that's stored inside the reactor and is actually uh, undergoing uh, fission right now. It's sitting in the reactor heating up these blocks. Uh, you can automatically, uh, with the touch of one uh, button back there, pull these out of the reactor at an instant and it just stores them below the reactor in a uh, cooling chamber inside two chests and those chests are built to withstand any type of heat you can throw at them. Uh, yeah, obviously I said the ice control f uh, switch already, and this is uh, probably one of the best things to have. This is a, a emergency purge alarm. What it does is it connects up to these heat uh, monitors. These heat monitors are designed to uh, go off and send a pulse down this redstone once they hit 2,000 degrees. Now these reactors, uh, they're basically set up so that the highest temperatures you'll get on them when you have uh, material set up in this pattern is probably around 500 to 600 degrees. You're not going to get much higher than that. So if you get to 2000 degrees, which the operating temperature which these things explodes is uh, 8000 degrees, if you get to 2000 degrees something's going very wrong, and if you get to 8000 degrees you did something very wrong. But it doesn't matter because once it gets to 2000 degrees, this alarm gets triggered. And when that alarm gets triggered, it automatically throws the switch over here for the reactor rod purge. So you don't even need to be standing next to this thing to hit the uh, reactor rod purge uh, switch to cool the reactors down. Instead, let me go underground here. So instead, what will happen is these re uh, filters right here, which are designed to only pull uranium out, will rip the uranium right out of the uh, reactor, sending it down these chutes to these diamond-plated chests. They'll sit in the diamond-plated chests, and they'll cool down, and that space that was pulled, where the uranium was pulled out, will be then be filled with ice, and the entire unit will be cooled. Uh, this uranium can be stored underground, it can be stored deep, deep within the ground. I just put it down here because I'm on a flat world, I would have gone deeper. But, uh, yeah. So, right here, you can see the reactor heat control is mounted on the same wire line as the reactor uh, purge line is on. So, once that gets triggered, it also purges the uh, uranium out of the system very, very efficient design in the redstone and very, very helpful for when you're, say, 2,000 meters away and you start to hear the alarm and you're running to it trying to shut it down and then on normal reactors that don't have this uh, automatic uh, system, 
it'll just go up in flames and everything will be destroyed. Now, uh, I want to actually get to the system that keeps the reactor going and what keeps it cool. What actually keeps this reactor cool and what keeps these ice blocks flowing in after each one is deplenished is that you have a uh, energy condenser. This thing is made to condense uh, the E equals MC squared in that little box there. That depends on how many seconds it takes to make those. So when you put energy into this thing, it makes the blocks. It just pulls them out of thin air for you. In here you see you have a bunch of ice and it's constantly being made one every second. So that's why you have hundreds of stacks there. As you can see, that stack just got made. Um, now that's really helpful, especially uh, if you are making a lot of ice to cool the reactor like this one because this uses all six sides of the reactor box and uses a lot of fuel, so you need to keep that cool. Uh, this design was originally set up by a YouTube user, a different YouTube user, and uh, I modified it a bit so that it'd work with not only two, but four reactor pods. He originally had only one on there, and uh, this design is so efficient in the way it makes ice is that you can actually have two or if you put one out going this way, you can have upwards of four. In this setup, I only did two, though, because I really don't need that much power. I, if I really wanted to go out, I could have gone four, but it would have required a lot more redstone wiring for the uh, for the automatic uh, purge buttons and everything like that. So the way these uh, condensers get power is they use what's uh, called a Mark III collector. This uses light, which in this case is being given off by a light or yeah, glowstone so that even at night it'll get light and that energy uh, condenser energy uh, collector pulls light from the light stone pushes it into the energy uh, converter and converts it into mass pretty smart that's then uh, pumped by these filters which are only set up to filter ice so that they pull full ice chunks out and shoot them down these pneumatic tubes these pneumatic tubes then connect there and they refill any stacks that are not full. And uh, these wires are actually set so that each one is timed exactly the same time so these filters uh, pull all at the same time. Now where these wires lead is far away and the reason I did it far away is because this thing is loud and annoying as fuck. Okay, so as you can see, we have a timer out here, and yeah, it has to be set to uh, 0.2 uh, seconds interval, and that can be annoying as hell when you're sitting up there trying to operate your reactor, and all you hear is this for a solid 20 minutes straight. So I put it kind of far away so that it wouldn't annoy the shit out of me. Uh, you can do that on this redstone wiring too, because this redstone wiring is a lot more efficient than powdered redstone would be on the ground. It can actually transmit uh, redstone pulses up to 255 blocks away. So very, very long distance uh, wiring. Let me put this back here, that's part of the uh, alarms. So a lot of you may be wondering, well, what the hell am I going to do with four entirely filled out reactors pumping away at making a ton of electricity? You could always fill a shit ton of uh, MFSUs with that. Um, these MFSUs I got back here are all charging. I mean, almost every single one is charging up. This is, uh, I originally started with only three, but it became apparent pretty quick that that wasn't enough. And now, I mean, I'm charging a good 60 right now MFSUs and they're all going to be at 10,000 by the time I'm done with the uh, current cycle of uranium I got inside these reactors. Right now I'm actually working on a different design reactor that uses these same components so it has the automatic purge, it has the uh, automatic ice flow and all that but what it'll also have is the uh, ability to automatically push uranium cells into uh, the reactor when old ones are depleted. Uh, the problem with that is that in Technic Mod Pack, you can't use a uh, energy condenser to create uranium uh, cells like these. 
so you actually have to use a, uh, a condenser to create the raw materials and then you gotta use a uh, automatic crafting table to create them and then you gotta use tubes to push them everywhere so basically it take up another just to make the cells it take up another complex this big and then that's just for one reactor so for one reactor I'd have a complex just as big as this uh, to fuel it with uranium cells and those only get made maybe once every 30 minutes uh, as per the uh, reactor setup I have now regardless though I mean that's that'd still be insanely helpful because you'd basically have unlimited power it create it for you it uh, cool it for you and it dispose of it in case of a disaster for you it's foolproof system and it's uh, totally actually very very uh, efficient if you uh, it's very efficient if you uh, do only one reactor so if you have the uh, filter the condenser the mark III collector and the glowstone and then you have the reactor that's all you really need everything else is optional even the uh, emergency uh, purge system is optional but I love to have it on there just so I can go out and explore and not come back an hour later and have my entire base detonated in front of me so yeah well that's my uh, reactor in Minecraft my uh, completely safe completely self-contained reactor uh, if you guys have any questions or suggestions uh, leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible all right thanks